Welcome, Pathfinders, back to the Find the Path actual play of the Mummy's Mask Adventure Path. Here we are again, back for episode 21, I believe it yes, is. Yes, 21. 21. We're old enough to drink now, y'all. <laughs> well. As a podcast. If podcasts as, could drink. I was like, we've as been a old podcast and also a while now. <laughs> Hopefully you don't feel don't like you've aged that. a year for every week that's passed. Welcome to our podcast. That makes no sense. <laughs> yes. When last we left our heroes... They had made their way back into the City of the Dead, or yeah. the dead portion of Wati, into the necropolis, where they had made their way to go to the Sanctum of the Erudite Eye, their third and final And we were attempting location. to be very nonchalant about this. And then we were chalanted by <laughs> so many heroes. I don't think that's how chalant works. <laughs> I don't think it is either. No. We were accosted. Oh, what is it? It came from... Behind. behind. <laughs> but it was really actually, from But we actually from, saw them. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I was like, but you got to do that in the cookie voice. It came from behind. <laughs> no. What? Absolutely it's not. I've only Star ever Fox. heard that. It's from Star Fox 64. I have never played this game. I only know that from memes. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. I <laughs> wow. was like, I have no idea. Actually, I think oh, I only know because Rick says it. <laughs> that's so sad. That was such a good game. That was from a horror thing. No. Nope. No, that, it's that's totally from, from Star Fox no, they came from behind is from A New Hope, says uh, it, before he's gunned down by lost. Darth Vader while he's attempting to do it. the attack run on the Death Star. I swore it was a horror. Welcome to No, it's like they came from our podcast. behind, and then he blows up dramatically. But they also, that was one of the ones when Peppy gets yeah. like, knocked well, out. Well, maybe they referenced Star Wars. I think it's because they referenced Star Wars. Boom, illusions. Yeah, I mean, that <laughs> any anytime one of your units, or one of your flying units is gunned down as a Terran <clears> in the first StarCraft, they always say they came from behind before they blow up uh. because it's a reference back to Star Wars. Uh. Anyway. We were attacked. Yes. yes. Uh, well, we somebody... snuck upon them also. Yes. Yes. While you were making your way to the Sanctum of the Rudite Eye, you would notice that there was an ambush prepared for you of which you then ambushed the ambushers. And that guy made a bad life choice. Who watches the Watchmen. Uh, yeah, and then there were, sti- there were sticky little Tanglefoot bags <laughs> thrown all over the place. Yeah, yep, not all over the place. There were a whole bunch place. of Tanglefoot bags. Really, just at me. Actually, no, there's no, no, no. yours. Me too. Okay, on There's some also. really effective archery in that episode. Like, That's between true. Sagira oh, managing yeah. to fire off a couple of good arrows, and then Sudi, I think, getting shot in the back like three times. I was going to say, I took those like yeah. a champ. That's we're going to start calling you Boromir. I, I did. I, 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 yeah, I was going to say, I did have to flee to Onuris to heal me, and then climb back up to the guy off. the arrowed one. So the not so lucky black cat got shot a whole bunch. Um, you guys got into a dramatic you fight. You, remember that I am you a had cat. managed to uh, actually avoid killing cat. any of them. One of them, however, had fled with Sagira in hot pursuit, Sudi racing afterwards, which is fairly easy to catch up because Sagira is moving half speed while she's For a little while. And I, I have um, a 40 foot speed. Too, so I mean, even if you're going to pull out, I would still catch you. Uh, and the you're two of you and that on, had stayed yeah, behind had yours, secured the prisoners. Yes, we had secured the prisoners, and we were going to go tell the spire that we saw a few blocks back. Hey, we have a uh, thieves or something. Bandits. We're not exactly sure of their motivation. So we're going to queue up a little bit of sirenscape here. A bit of our desert wind coming through, whistling down between the derelict buildings. All right. So the party split the party again. The pitter patter of little feet. Will we regret it? Probably. Probably. But that guy was bad. He picked a bad time to make Sagira helpless. Let's go with whatever lets you sleep at night. Just saying. She's chaotic neutral. She's not even good. He picked a bad time. So in the now blood splattered section of the ruins that Citra and Onuris find themselves, you would have had plenty enough time to collect these people. You tied uh, them to the well. Yes, drag them over. I imagine uh, stabilize the wounds of the ones that that you can. I don't know if you're providing them with any healing or anything along those lines. I'm just using my heal check to patch them up. What do you get taking ten? Eighteen. That's good enough. So you'd be able to patch them up enough to, at the very least, make sure they're not bleeding out. Drag them over. You would need to use uh, five uses off of your healer's kit. Okie dokie. Are they worth this? Yes. Can't better, you just stabilize better than them? Using them? That's what I'm healing. doing with the kit. Remember where the But stabilize is a zero level spell that's free. No, I did not take that. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Well then, yeah. <laughs> so the answer is you can't stabilize in italics, but you can stabilize them. Mm-hmm. The wind would whistle its way down between the assorted buildings here, blowing through the long, derelict portion of the city and through the now vacant windows where people once lived and much more recently archers once fired upon all of you as you'd made your way through this alleyway of death. 
In the far distance, you can see the sanctum of the erudite eye shining like an alabaster structure set upon the hill. You'd say that you're probably no more than about five minutes removed from actually making your way to the sanctum at this point. You would secure the last of the people tying them up here, strip them of their armor and weapons as you secure them to the well itself. On yours would sigh and glance towards the way Sagira and Sudi ran. I was not expecting that. Um... Well, Sigurd having a bit of a bad day. We just walked and, and got attacked. I mean, yes, it's not great, but... Um, yeah, so she lost her mom last night. What? Yeah, we were stopped on the way back from the party, and um, apparently her dad showed up and said that her mom had been murdered. So why didn't she say something? Why are we here instead of investigating this? I believe it's because we couldn't yet... They told us to wait to go and talk to the guy that they caught. Probably because she was like fully had all of her weapons and armor and everything, and I don't think they wanted us to. And we were really drunk. Oh, okay, but that was last night. She's sober now. Yes, but she's also very angry. She made an appointment. We're, we're going to go back, but I think she needs to calm down <clears throat> first. Especially since she's acting like that. You know, maybe we should have thought about this before we decided to go adventuring for the day. Well, I was hoping it would calm her down. And I told Sudi to go talk to her. They've been friends. There's nothing more calming than mass murder. Well, she brushed him off, actually. Yes, but I don't know that. I know. We're bad at communicating. (laughs) Again, I don't know that. I just know that y'all were friends ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I was hoping Sudi would talk to her. (laughs) (laughs) I'm curious. Let's out another... Really long sigh. Lovely. It's not like she's the most open person. Unless you get a few drinks in her, you can't get anything out of her. Yeah, speaking up, what <laughs> happened to you last night on your I told you I was sick. Sudi went to the house from, and had the misfortune of meeting my mother and got a potion. Yeah, how did you end up at your house? You hate your mother. I didn't go. Sudi did. Where did you go? I apparently wandered the streets in a haze. Sudi found me outside the house of the pharaoh. Why are you going to the house of the pharaoh? I don't know. I think you'll need to make a blood I was going to say, that calls for <laughs> Mystery! Blood 17. Dang. 19. Bam! Yeah. That's sense motive. You feel like he's being evasive. You don't know if you necessarily know him well enough to really press on that matter, or if you want to respect his privacy, or... You don't feel like, I'm inferring on a character, you don't feel like there's any hostile intent or anything to him being evasive. Well, it's good to know you're as open as ever. <laughs> it's not important right you now. You can roll a sense motive, but you can probably sense the passive aggressiveness. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important right now, Citra. What is important is Sagira is probably off to murder someone. So he's after. Uh, that's going to help. Well, if anybody is going to suck her down, it's going to be the one person she actually knows. The you dude think saved your you life and, yesterday. You or I, I was, are going to? I was going to say, man. He saved the whole town. I saved, or something. Like, the whole world. Yeah, but I've seen you try to talk Sagira out of things before. It's never gone well. Why do you think I was a criminal? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't recruit you. I mean, Sudi's known her the longest. She's not about to open up to you or I. She's only known us a couple of days. Mm-hmm. I mean, it took me months to crack you. One inch. And you still barely tell me anything. Yes, golf. <laughs> On yours would roll his eyes. So it's not like you've exactly been open either. It wasn't until a few days ago I knew that you used to rob tombs. It wasn't important. <laughs> Fair. And besides, right. I don't rob them now except for sanctioned by Phrasma. I have my reasons just like you. I have never robbed tombs except for doing it now. And that's to protect them. You've never been poor. When I left my house, I had literally no money. Yes, but growing up. It's different when you're a child. So what, your whole family robbed tombs for a living? No, just me and my brother. I didn't really know that that's what we were doing till later. What? Well, at first it was just exploring. I didn't know my brother was actually taking things out of the tombs until later, when the money started showing up. And then having money was kind of nice when you're not used to having any adult. And what did your parents have to say about this? Well, we kept it from them, for the most part. (laughs) So where do they think the money was coming from? We were very careful. We only used enough to get by, and then we saved the rest. My brother was very smart. 
You do what you have to do to survive. We should probably go find them now. I, there's no way for us to track them down, and we can't just leave these people here. Okay, well, then we for should. the ghouls. <laughs> Are any of those people awake, by the way? Not unless you've healed them. And we sh- maybe should go get the voices of Aspire, though. These people need to be arrested. Where did we see them last? You haven't actually seen any of the Voice of the Spire since you passed underneath the entrance oh. into the I thought city. we saw another group of them on the way in. No, they pulled back to the gates because of how many protesters there are. They're all the way back at the gates, unfortunately. Isn't that the same direction that Sigitter and Sudi went? Mm-mm. No, it is. Oh, oh yeah. it is? That, that guy was running to the only exit out of the oh, dead city. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to scale a wall or something. That's what I would have done. Well, if he was going to scale the wall, he would also scale the wall somewhere in that direction because it puts him into the living city. Mm. Are we cool leaving them alone here now that we've tied them up, or do we feel like that's probably just a recipe for disaster? I feel like that's probably just a recipe for disaster. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know if we want to split up again. (laughs) We've already split the party. (laughs) Feasibly, you can wait here knowing that this is probably where Sudi and Segura are going to return to. Is there anything in the well? Did we already look? It was dry. Yeah, the well is old and dry. Uh, do there's any of these a pit people have down. on them? Do any of them have like a potion of cure light wounds or something or anything handy like that? Yes, yeah, searching them, as I imagine you would have stripped them of their gear and weapon and so on and so forth, you would find five suits of padded armor, four kopesh, one masterwork shimitar, four masterwork longbows, two nets, 100 feet of hemp rope. I don't come in handy. Each one of the members are carrying a silver chain. If you want to collect the silver chains, there are five silver chains. They're worth five gold pieces each. Nice. Okay. And that's it. Did I notice them already, or am I just now noticing them? You'd notice them when you first saw them, because that was when you first became concerned about it. Picking one of these, I suppose as Citra would make her way over and help strip these guys down to their gear, leaving their clothing and everything so that they have some protection from the elements, you would find that each of them are wearing a set of silver chains. These are not like a silver necklace or a silver bracelet that you'd consider traditional, they almost look like the links of what you'd consider to be something like a workman's chains or some sort of manacle chain. Mm -hmm. They are thick links. Sitcher, you would recognize these easily as you'd crouch and pick one of them up, glancing them over. It feels weighty in your hand, although not entirely unfamiliar. You know, maybe we should uh, wake one of them up and ask what they were doing here. I'll have to use some of my magic unless you have a spare potion you're willing to give up. I only have one. I gave the only one I had to Sudi. I can use a spell. I mean, I don't know. Now that I know about Sagira's mother, I don't know how wise it is to continue adventuring this day. Yeah, I don't know how soon they'll be back, but they'll probably be waiting for us. Or we should wait for them here. All right. Does one of them look like they might have been more in charge than the others? Was any one of them getting giving orders to the others while the fight was going on? Or The one that you'd initially ambushed that was in the center, effectively the one that had actually kind of given away his position mm-hmm. signaling towards the others, looked like he was a leader, although he's no better armed or armored than any of the other individuals here, so you don't know. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to cast a Cure Light Wounds on him. He'll get seven hit points back. The man would... <coughs> <sighs> Good morning. <sighs> we lost then. Yes. <sighs> Probably not the wisest fight you've ever picked. <sighs> so, so it would seem. So, were you just out here to pick off any adventurers, or were you hunting us in particular? Uh, who, who are you? Sense motive. You may sense motive, so wish. Not my best roll. I only got a 13. No, he seems to be being legit, as far as not seeming to really realize who you are. So you were literally here just to kidnap anybody? Uh, I mean, we're, we're here to, to steal. <laughs> not. You're to steal, even though you've got nets. Oh, yeah. Steal what? <laughs> look, look at the two of you. I mean, how, your, your weapons, the armors that guy's wearing, uh, one of you was swinging or pulled out some sort of glowing sword. <laughs> and you thought it was wise to attack the people with the expensive, obviously magic items. Well, I mean, it, it wasn't necessarily, we had the element of surprise. No, no you, 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 didn't. you didn't. Well, I mean, we thought we had the element of surprise, obviously. How many of you are in the city now? How many of... He would kind of 
clench his fist as if feeling for something on his wrist before noticing that it's not there. Citra lifts it up and then jingles it. You shouldn't have taken that. <laughs> Too late. How many of you are in the city? He would kind of lean back, glancing off, as if basically considering this conversation done as far as he's concerned. Citra rolls her eyes. Really? After what happened, now you want to go silent? What's in it for me? I let the voices of the spider get you instead of throwing you down the well. <laughs> you can make me an intimidate check. Oh, I can't do a bluff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bluff. You're, you're I mean, trying it's a bluff. to. Well, I'm lighthearted I mean, about it. Yeah, but it, <laughs> I'm it is more yeah, attempting to exert. <laughs> on your will and tip to keep a straight face and a, not be like, we're yeah, not doing Citra's that. Not no, you're not intimidating. She only got an eight. <laughs> I mean, on yours aids by not saying anything. <laughs> you know? Ten. Looks stern. <laughs> he would just kind of glance over you. No, I'd be dead already if that was your intention. We're going to be asking a lot nicer than the spire will. If you give up the information to us and we can relay it to them, they what is the punishment for being in the necropolis and grave robbing anyways and losing your hand? No, it's death. It's no, death. Yeah, no, oh, it's, okay. They, they kill you. You're dead anyway, yeah. bro. Yeah. They might just make it quick, rather than drawn out. So what you're telling me is my options are death or death? Death or cake. That's it, basically. But, you know, you knew that coming in here and breaking the law. Yeah, so I, I think I'd rather just bite you. If those are my options. Or I could let you know a little bit, and you can let me go. So you can continue to attack people and steal... And someone else might die because I chose to let you go. What do you know of my organization? Enough. Mm. He would Enough. ignore on Eurus and glance pat and pass towards Citra. We are not a violent group. <laughs> Obviously. Our intention was to trap you in nets, capture a couple of you, and then force a ransom with the rest of the group to get what we wanted. The silver chain doesn't usually deal with the living, so why start now? Because they're grave robbers, and suddenly there's not very many empty graves to rob. Yes, but this isn't your usual turf. You're not from this city. We were. Once. Until the horses drove us, drove us out. And now we've returned. I can give you some information. What information would we possibly need from you? Well, I guess you'll find out once you untie me. You let me walk. And the then, spires show up and they've still got these other four. Yes, and then, like I said, you go back to your gang, you go back to attacking people and robbing people, and then you tell the, point the other I was members. Raising is the fact that the silver chain does not take failure lightly. Are you even working for the silver chain now? He would just kind of hold up his wrist, still bound with rope. I've made my terms. You decide. What's it worth to you? Citra grabs his elbow, on Eurus's elbow, and kind of pulls him off to the side. I don't trust him. Well, obviously. <laughs> and I, mean, I, I don't agree with the whole voices of the spider just killing everybody, though. I think that's extreme. They broke the law? They knew the yes, punishment coming in here? I don't... I, not all laws are good. This law is good. This law <laughs> protecting the remains of the dead is good. Well, if, not, if that's the case, you should put me to death. Yeah, I thought they so. tried to kill Sumi. Also, they attacked us, and the well, second we free him, he's going to run off and tell the rest of his gang members exactly what happened here. And then it doesn't matter what he told us because we'll be invalidated immediately. Technically, we attacked first. They were going to attack us. I know, but technically, we attacked them and first. Why do you seem to know so much about this gang? Citra does that thing with her eyes where she looks around, avoiding looking at him. Um, he would cross his <laughs> arms over his chest and glance down at you. How Staring up the only thing that you can find is a falcon slowly <laughs> turning in the sky. <laughs> Onuris is actually an inquisitor. <laughs> yeah. um, the silver chain happens to be the gang my brother was secretly making payments to in order to get into the tombs. I didn't know that part. I was just helping him. What happened to your brother? He died. Did they kill him? You knew him? that part. No. They don't typically kill people. That part is true. 
this is unusual. That's why I don't think that he's actually working for the Silver Chain right now. So what do you suggest we do? You know this gang and seem to understand their motivations. Would you rather we just turn them over to the Spire, or do you think he actually has something worth knowing? That's hard to tell. If he's not really part of the chain, it might be worthwhile, just because, again, the Silver Chain are mostly... They're thieves. They can get brutal when it comes to not getting their money, but they don't usually kill people because of it. They usually just up their debt. If you think it's worth letting him go for the information... My worry is not so much him. My worry is what Sagira is going to do to me if she finds out we let him go. Because I, I don't want a knife in like my back, because she'll be... Because she's not mentally in a good place right now, and I just I think she would be very angry if we let him go. So uh, what's new? The street what goes saying. both ways. The street goes both ways. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I wish that we have like a, a contingency, like to make sure that he doesn't hurt anybody else. We There's no way for us to ensure that he'd uphold any kind of deal we made with him anyway. It it's, would be if you put a gaius on it, but I, I, am yes, I? Can I cast? Can cast yes. This. <laughs> All of a sudden, Horace is like, "Boom!" What is ga- gaius? Like a seventh level spell? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's it's high. It's high. Yeah, yeah, it yeah it's it's up there. I don't know. This is one of those moral gray areas that I'm back and forth on. Don't grin at me like that. It's not the grin, it's a That's grimace. That's the same grin you used to get on your face when you did something wrong at the library. And I usually got out of it, too. <laughs> <sighs> I, I don't know. Like, I would like to hear his information, but there's also a part of me that thinks it would be worthless, and then we're stupid for letting him go. My instinct is to turn him over to the spire. <laughs> <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> I can still not. <laughs> <laughs> the other side, we're just like, yeah. Yeah, we're all bobbleheading. Like, yeah. Fine. Just turn him over. But I don't want to talk to him again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait here for Sudi and Sagira. Very well. So, what's happening on the other side <laughs> of the city? Uh, <laughs> elsewhere. Uh, Sagira, go ahead and make me another survival check to continue tracking. Okay. That is not the best. Oh, but we're in the urban lands. You are, in fact, in urban terrain. That is 16. Oh, wait, I thought I was heading him off at the gate. I mean, is that where you're you're planning on going first? I thought that was, like, last episode I made that really good survival check. You know that he is heading in the direction of the gate. I don't know if you want to go straight to the gate and wait for him there, hoping that that's where he's going to exit if you're trying to catch him before he reaches the gate. Although, keep in mind that he's moving at full speed, you're moving at half speed tracking him. But if I know where the gate is, I can just run. Right, you could run to the gate. I'm going to run to the gate. Very well. I will follow. Very well. You would manage to navigate your way through the desolate city streets here for some time. Distantly, occasionally, you would hear the far sounds of conflict of battle although with whom you're not entirely positive these as you would approach closer to the gate would be drowned out by the distant murmur of the far crowds those just on the other side of the gate continuing to protest the the presence of these adventurers making their way into the necropolis and returning and destabilizing the local economy and all of that are you trying to find a place inside of the city of the dead to watch for him or yeah so I want to make a best guess of the direction he'd be coming from and then like find a place to like stealthily wait okay so you would be able to make your way though even at a jogging pace it would still take you the better part about half an hour to actually make your way back to the main entrance to the city particularly as you'd have to stop periodically kind of keep an eye out or even stop entirely and then circle back a block or something when you're just the air shifts and you can smell that horrid distant stench of undeath Mm. emanating from certain buildings or far alleyways to try to keep yourself from just stumbling across a nest of ghouls. Arriving close to the entrance, you'd be able to find an old tavern here. Are you trying to wait inside of the building, head up to the upper floors and watch from there? I'm just trying to wait in, like, the shadow of a building. Okay. Like. Go ahead and make me a stealth check, because you're also hiding from the voices of the spire at this point. Oh, uh, boy. Um, 16 plus 6 is a number. I get 24. 15 for Sudi. Very well. Sudi, surprisingly, considering he's a giant cat, not all that too stealthy. But you're black, yeah. Because I'm black in a white desert. 
shadows. More like bait. Very well. So I'll need a perception roll from the two of you. Uh, I have an 18. 21. Oh, sorry. 21 for Sakura. You would notice the man making his way back down the city streets. He seems to have probably paused at some point, taking the time to clean himself up a little bit. But as he approaches closer, you can see that he has blood smeared on him, hmm. which is strange considering you don't think he was even injured in the fight that you were in previously. Uh, he wasn't. So. He must have gotten into something. He would continue to make his way forward. And as he begins to approach closer, no more than maybe a good 40 or 50 feet away from you, you don't think he's noticed you at this point. He does come into what looks to be line of sight with the gate. It'd be about this point that you take a quick stop, kind of glance around just to see if anyone's looking, before reaching down, picking up a little sand, mussing himself up a little bit, affecting a limp, and starting to make his way towards the gate. Obviously, I can't attack him in front of the, the guards. Uh, Sigura's not even that stupid. Um, you know what? Sagira is going to, uh, Sagira looks rough and I'm with Sudi. So Sagira's going to like yank Sudi with her and step out in his way and yell, thief. He ambushed us in front of our site and tried to steal from us. My compatriots have his gang members tied up. Are you yelling that back in the direction of the voices of the spire? Yep, or? loud enough that they can hear. That's what I'm trying to do here. But. Sudi just looks uncomfortable by this. And I yank Sudi with me because they know you. Oh, you really have to use my... my you didn't want me to murder him. This is the second option. <sighs> I look over my but, shoulder at the spire. Does it look like they're turning to look at us? They hear you shouting, although for you to be far enough away to like stay out of line of sight, all they can hear is the shouting and that there's something going on. To hide, you would have to be almost about 100 feet because you have to be on the other side from where the Frasman's needle is. So basically, this guy walked out into plain sight, and they looked over, saw him. Then the two of you ran out and then started yelling back towards that and yelling at the guy and pointing... From that distance, they can't hear what you're saying, but you can tell that two of the voices of the spire have kind of peeled off from the gate and are approaching closer. The man would raise his hands up. Quiet, quiet. No, quiet, please. The man would pull down the edge of his hood, just desperately gesturing for you to quiet down, taking a few steps back further into the shadows and the alleyways nearby. Give me one good reason. The man would pull down the edge of his hood, just kind of glancing at you imploringly. Honestly, calling him a man is a little bit of an exaggeration. You'd maybe consider him to be... 1617, with his first growth of beard, although it's rather shabby excuse for one. This, I, I have nothing against you personally, and I had no intention on hurting any of you. But you, th- you and your friends did a very good job trying to kill us. Especially the, that guy. The, it, uh, that, the, it, wasn't, it wasn't the plan. No, we, we, we were... We, 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 I, I was... Our, our leader told us, and I just... I, that... He told us that we needed to wait, and, and we were going to, to take from anyone who came. We were going to capture one of you, and then force everyone else to get over their weapons and armors, and then... Uh, we weren't going to hurt anyone. That wasn't our intention. Tell that to all of the arrows that were in my back. The two of you can make sense motive. So I think they're still in your back, honestly. Oh, they, they might actually be still in my back. Um, I, I think on yours, for, that's some of them uh, for you. Maybe. Uh, I get a five. I get a sixteen. With a five, yeah, it's, it seems pretty legit. Also, you're probably really uncomfortable by this whole thing already, because, okay, well, if we take violence against them, Phrasma's not real big on killing no, people. I'm, no, she's uh, not. With a 16, you get the impression that this is a half-truth. Just judging from his response, you don't think he has the desire for blood, but that whole... You think he was well aware that there was going to be a good chance of there being violence. Hmm. How old does he look? like 16 or 17 it's hard to tell okay i'm gonna need you to be really truly honest in a way that probably isn't very natural for you because if they come and you are a thief they kill you that's what happens to people here i know i know i know i know just 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 tell them that um that that it was a mistake that's not the truth you're not telling me what i want to know just would you he would kind of just stop before the voice of the spire would round the corner. Two men in resplendent phrasmic garb as the two of them would approach. I'm your assassin. Send them back to us, please. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> the first man would just kind of step his way forward towards the two of you. By the time that they've actually stepped into the or into the necropolis, pretty much the moment they stepped into the necropolis, they drew their kopesh and have their daggers in their offhand as they approach closer. Their Phrasmin holy symbols bouncing across their chest and wearing the purple robes and headdress of the Voice of the Spire. Man, this is hard because Sagira is not good. There seems to be a problem. (sighs) The two of you are injured. Hmm. All three of you, perhaps. We were accosted uh, by a group of people. Mm -hmm. Uh, We were severely injured. We have the rest of them 
tied up further inside. I thought this was one of them, but now I'm not all that sure. Are you not a traveler with this man? No. No. Where is the rest of your party? Um, in fact, he would point further into the You can give the, directions. Uh, they were on their way to the eye of the... Erudite Eye? Yes. The Sanctum of the Erudite Eye, although it's quite possible that they don't they actually don't. know the name of, yeah, the it's, of it. We can give him some general directions, I'm sure. There's a well, there's a bunch of broken down buildings. There'll be a bunch of people tied up. The man would nod. You do vaguely recognize him, Sudi, as in you are probably t- trained at the temple, you're mm-hmm. probably trained with him, but it's kind of one of those he doesn't work in your department things. Yeah. So you're like, I know this guy's face, but Ted? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's a Ted. So you don't know who this man is. The, the boy would kind of glance nervously between all of you. The two of you can make a sense mode if you wish. I rolled real bad. Mm-hmm. Eight. Ten. Very well. One of the men that attacked us ran, and I tracked him. But this isn't... This is barely a man. I'm going to, like, point at this boyish face. You don't believe that he is a thief. I didn't see him steal anything. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not a thief. I'm, I'm just a, a traveler. I was a, a scout uh, for, a, for a, a group of adventurers. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to... T- t- to help them out, the uh, the, the amethyst dragons. I want to. Oh no! I know he's lying. Just kidding. <laughs> maybe he's not. Oh, maybe that was the name of that group. Oh yeah, maybe. Hmm. Maybe. The inquisitor would narrow his eyes towards the boy. Oh, oh he's an inquisitor. <laughs> God damn it! Oh. <laughs> Where is the rest of your group, boy? They're uh, the, they they were uh, ambushed in the. In the necropolis, um, and and I fled back back to here as quickly as I could. Do the two of you vouch for this man? You can tell, judging by the inquisitors' faces, they do not believe him. They're That's... inquisitors. They know all the things. <laughs> they get half the class level to sense motive. <laughs> I mean, technically, he was telling the truth. I mean, he's covered in blood. I lost the man I was chasing, and I came here at the gate to hopefully head him off. So it looked like he was going this way. But admittedly, we're not familiar with the other adventuring groups, so we couldn't tell if he's part of that group or not. I'm not even sure I know all the Are you pressing groups. charges against this boy? Against this boy, no, but against the ones that we for sure know attacked us, yes. Do you have your map on you? Um, Sudi actually probably does have the map. Okay. I didn't know who was I carrying. Know who's carrying I, I'm assuming really whoever has the highest but... survival. Oh, that's me. I'm carrying the map. Oh, yeah. actually, that's true. Yeah, you do have the highest survival. I would hand over the map. Point on this map where you believe that your compatriots are. That's like literally right in front of me. <laughs> I will circle the area and Fair. hand it back. Do you have a quill and ink pot? I keep a ledger. <laughs> um, Why, yes. I have yes, an I ink. Do. I have ink and pen, actually. So, yes, I do. <laughs> Fancy. So, yeah, he would nod, nod back towards his other. Are you wishing to wait here or accompany us back? Um, I mean, we'll come back with you. We'll come with you. I put my arm around the kid, and I was like, and we'll take him just in case so he doesn't get into trouble. Uh, 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 with, with it's a very strong grip. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of his group was ambushed. I- yes. Uh, Are you planning on continuing your exploration of the tombs? Uh, uh, no, no, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll wait in here until uh, you're, you're ready to go. Um, so uh, and after that, I'll let's, let's make my way way back, and hopefully you can f- find something on the rest of my group. If the two of you will wait here within sight of the gate, we will go and retrieve the rest of our unit, and then we will make our way. Okay. Mm. The two men would turn, making their way off. Get everything you can out of that kid. The boy would nervously watch in their direction. <laughs> so, thank you. Now you're going to tell me everything I want to know. You can make me a diplomacy or intimidate. So do you may eat another on either of those? Diplomacy? No. They're the same. <laughs> no, diplomacy is better. Diplomacy it is. All right, diplomacy. diplomacy it is. You don't happen to have favored enemy human, do you? I don't. do aid you. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were about to say, I have favored well, enemy human. Well, has the really good diplomacy check, but he's not here. Um, I get a 17, 18, 19. 19? I did just save the kid's life. Look, I, I, n- I, never, meant, it, 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 I never meant any harm to come to any of you. Just, just, I'll... I'll let you know, and then, uh, then I'll go. I'll leave Wati. I'll go back home. Where are you from? 
on. Isn't that across the river? Isn't that where Citra is? It's, it's further up the river, <laughs> yeah. It is yeah. where Citra is from, though. Did She's Citra told act weirdly about the chain? Do I know that she knows something about it? We, uh, you I'll guys you ran make... off before we started stripping. No, stuff like off she was me. with me when we saw the chain. The you, first time. you would have been able to tell with her initial reaction, and plus, I think you, I think Citra actually mentioned that they were part of a gang, the Silver Chain. Yeah, so she like seemed you to told, recognize I was them like, on sight. On. I didn't know anything about that though, because I remember I think we rolled on it or something. Did you know who we were, or were we just in the wrong place at the wrong time? Uh, only, only passingly. Well, no, I... Only passingly? I've seen you before, so I, I knew you were you were travelers here. We... You aren't the first group that we've ambushed. We were, um... He would just kind of glance nervously in the direction of the spire before kind of turning back in a hoarse whisper. The Silver Chain has come to Wati in force. The leader of our organization is here. He led all of us here. A man named Akram Efek. How many are you? Uh, yeah. How, How many, many are you? Number? Three dozen. I, I, I'm only aware of the group that I'm traveling in, not all the rest of them. Why are you here? Why is the Silver Chain here? Akram, we're... we're tr- the Silver Chain are grave robbers. We, we do... We robbed the graves and, and on, and we've spread out further from that. We had a small presence here in Wati already. We've kept underground for years. Um, the faded are much more numerous than we are, and we didn't want to start a gang war between the two groups. But no, Ekarim has uh, fallen in? I don't know. He, there's there's a woman involved. I don't know her. Fallen in? There's a woman. Um, she's religious. I, I don't know. A lot of the upper levels of the organization have... Uh, have started worshipping this, this figure. What figure? I, I don't know. The The woman wears a, a golden mask, like a funerary mask. Do I know anything about this? You know funerary masks, but you can make a knowledge religion if you so wish. Um, okay. hmm. 14. I got a 13. Yeah, a golden Egyptian. I mean, a mask is a common symbol of Nethys at times, but you doubt that that really sounds like uh, Nethys it, unless it was split black and white yeah, across it. Be you don't know any other deities that could even pertain mm-hmm. towards. I was going to say Rasmir's like almost a no, you, down here. you didn't make a high enough roll to yeah. even know anything about Rasmir. Yeah. All so, oh, hail the living god. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, how long have you been in this gang? Uh, three. Three years? I didn't even realize this is the first time I've ever even left on when we came here. Ekram and this, this woman that came here, they're looking for something. Um, the the leader of our group, Hakak, is... Uh, He's, he's the leader of our, our, our patrol, our, our six. And he he wasn't happy with the way that Akram has been doing things. He's, I don't know if he's wanting out, but he we stopped searching and we started ambushing groups so in the necropolis. your orders from the head of your gang were to grave rob, but you're the leader of your troop decided not to. Yes. Uh, he, he wanted to get as much money as possible. He's not trusting Akram in this new, strange, religious direction that the this chain's going. And I, I was just following along. We were given a, an offer uh, yesterday, and I guess it was enough money for him to take From up From a woman it. in a big hat? Yes, uh, a purple hat. Oh, okay. I want to sense motive just to make sure he's like. I was going to say, make truth. sure he's telling the truth. Um... I had a 20. I get a 21. Yeah, he seems to be telling the truth. What specifically did they did she ask you to do? Uh, she she talked with, with our leader, but um, we were just asked to, to guard the approach. Uh, apparently, um, her site was located there, some big temple. Um, she wanted to make sure that they weren't disturbed while they were exploring it. Sigira nods. And wishes she had distance telepathy. <laughs> to, to you know what I like... could go for right now? Greater teleport. A uh, hawk messenger. <laughs> she looks up for the hawk. Yeah, if only it were. Um, um, there's just a vulture flying over you right now. Oh, sad. All right, kid. He has two heads. I say, being two years older than this kid, you're going to go back to On, and you're going to figure out how to get out of this gang. Or you're going to go to a city that's not overrun with this gang. And start a new life. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, and you're I'm, not 
going to talk to anyone from your gang before you leave. But beside the fact that they probably kill you for trying to leave. No, no, they're 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 all here in the necropolis. If I can get out of the necropolis, I'm I'm glad to do so. Ekron, to know. Ekron will will kill anyone that gets in his way. He's he's very dangerous. The I I haven't seen him in some time, but the last time I saw him, I I don't think he's right. Not in the head. This is he's, the guy that's in love with the. Yes, he's boy. he's wearing a mask like she is now. Um, it's oh. it's weird. Okay. But while we wait on our friends to return, you're going to tell me everything you know about the silver chain. I mean, you would only have about a minute or two until the voice of the spire yeah, would so. return. The little bit that he can give is that the silver chain is a is a thief's guild. They were originally formed in Wati. They take their name from the... It's a silver chain that they stole off of Nefru Shepis, who was the uh, Phrasman Inquisitor who came here and then cleansed the city and basically created the necropolis following the Plague of Madness. Uh, so that's where their original origins came from, and then they just took the silver chain as their mm. symbol and moniker. But yeah, so and other than that, the fact that they don't they don't steal from living people, they steal from the dead traditionally. But apparently, the not only is the game kind of falling apart, but this new religious direction that they have, they're becoming much more violent. Um, oh, and should we meet again? You remember, you owe me a favor. But I, I hope we will never meet again. Oh, you never know. He would nod as the voices would approach. Uh, they would escort him out. He would cast a few glances back in the two of your directions before making his way off. You imagine if he sells off uh, the extraordinarily expensive shimitar that he looks like he's carrying, considering it's a masterwork shimitar, mm-hmm. that he would probably be able to get enough money to do something. Yeah, for get him a boat ride to Sothis or something. Well, the it's the funny thing that the 150 gold he could get for selling that would pretty much set him up in a commoner's anyway. hovel and hut for life. The okay. ridiculousness of the economics there. Who's with the spire? Is it just the guys they arrested, or are they with them? No, no, no. They they went back to get the rest of their. Yeah. Oh, you, oh. Okay, so you okay. you would have you would have an escort back of six members of the Voices of the Spire who okay. would take you back through the city streets back to where you left your compatriots. Is that um, Falcon still circling? Yeah, it's still hanging out of there. We've had been paying back. a lot of attention to that Falcon. <laughs> we quit. Why do you keep yeah, looking up? The Falcon. What about it? There are birds everywhere here. It's a Falcon. So, Onuris gives her a look. <laughs> um, Horus. Citra what, gives him is a it look. Your pet now or something? <sighs> I'm how, just... how much knowledge religion does Citra have? <laughs> With my intelligence bonus, a plus two. Very well. So if I take ten, I'd get a twelve. So you basically know next to nothing pertaining... Well, actually, no, you follow follow the old old gods. gods. So you would know a little bit pertaining towards Horus. You know next to nothing about Phrasma, really. Yeah, (laughs) Sam. I follow Osiris. Yeah. I just think it's a good sign. I've seen it every day since we've come into the necropolis. (laughs) So every day that we've come into the necropolis and we've been attacked, we've been poisoned, we've gotten diseases, and... Possessed, and you think those are all good You're still alive, aren't you? True. <laughs> you were barely. I'm still feeling a little intelligence strained. Talk about arguing with me. Talk to me tomorrow. Talk about it doesn't kill you, make you stronger mentality. It might be a good sign. So but it's a little hit or miss right now. I'll remember that next time you need healing. Hey, Osiris loves me. Does he grant you spells? I, I have spell. one. He, I have I was, one. I was going to say, he doesn't love her that much. Hey. He grants me one. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Do we see them approach yet? <laughs> Sagira wants to walk as fast as possible. <laughs> After about an hour since they initially left, as you kind of sit here, the one man that you woke up would continue to, Hey, hey, why don't you let me go? He would tense up, though, as you would hear the crunch, crunch of boots across the sand as... Glancing back, you would see uh, Sagira and Sudi, as well as a half dozen members of the Phrasman Church, make their way around the corner and begin to approach. She like. Oh, oh, I was okay. just going to say, the voice of the spire. There are five uh, inquisitors amongst their number, and they brought a priest. Good. Citra gives Sagira an up and down to see if there's any like more blood or anything. I look see. exactly the same, which is uninjured. <laughs> yeah, but that's a good sign because it means you don't have blood spatter on you, which means you didn't murder the. <laughs> Just Run uninjured away. and covered in tanglefoot dust. <laughs> I'm so angry about it. <laughs> I assume it kind of flakes off after a while, yeah. so... Anyway. Kind of have to scrape it off. You get a nice loofah. On your sweat, incline his head Awkward. as the uh, voices approach. 
their leader, the man that was speaking to you earlier, whom if you asked for his name, he would have given you a nib, would make his way forward, nodding towards the rest of you and glancing disdainfully down towards the men tied up to the well. He would glance back towards uh, Sudi and Segura. These men were your attackers. Yes. Yes. And these are our party members. This on your sin, etc. Did you find anything of interest? They're members of a gang, apparently, called the Silver Chain. You would see the man's face would grow dark, as would the rest of the Inquisitors, although the Frasman priest would just kind of sit there glancing around like, um, mm-hmm. okay. Oh, it's an Inquisitor thing because of the story. Yeah. Other than that, no. You they have re- proof of their membership. You have the chains. <laughs> Tink. <laughs> Citra holds up a chain. <laughs> <laughs> the man would take it. Glance down towards the figures. You have done a great service. Do you need an escort back out? No, we still have. No, ex- we need to explore our site today. We should still be okay. He would glance down towards the one conscious man who would kind of quell back from the intimidating inquisitor as he would loom over him before kneeling in front of the man. He would lean close, close enough so that those of you who are uh, nearby can actually still hear him. Although he would harshly whisper. For Asma will judge you far more gently than we shall. <laughs> Citra's stomach kind of drops at that. So he's used to this. Sigur tries yes, to catch Onuris your eyes. is like, okay. So he's just like, eh. Sigur I mean, on Eurus, to... you'd probably just have Septi's voice in the back of your mind pertaining towards how upset the voices of the spire have been mm-hmm. recently. Sigur tries to catch Citra's eye, and if she does, she makes like a... Like a stroking like a, the brim like of a, a hat, hat lady, motion. <laughs> like a hat lady motion. The Fresman cleric would step forward. Channel positive energy for five hit points. Okay, oh, hey, does hey. that help uh, us? That would affect any of you that are injured as well. Hey, I'm injured. The other men would kind of sputter back to consciousness, all save one whom you guys really screwed up. Uh, the guy that's intestines were hanging out, him? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he should have challenged me. The leader of the Frasmans would stand back up towards his feet. Unlacing them, returning back to you the chain since he has no use for it, just kind of tossing it off to the side. We will need to borrow your rope. But they had a hundred feet with them. Feel free. It's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take their rope. Sudi always needs more that. rope. Yeah. <laughs> Sagira. Um, maybe. Sagira keeps looking at the, the site, like, really We're, anxiously. Like, nodding your head toward it, like, come on. Yes. <laughs> like, Very well. Thank you for your assistance this day. We will deal with these grave robbers. Technically, this time they weren't even grave robbing. They were attacking us. They were attempting to kill us. Any member of the Silver Chain are considered to be grave robbers. Whether or not they are caught in the act, if they are verified as members, they are punished in the way that all grave robbers are punished. Hmm. Hopefully a quick death. Or a slow one. Their judgment remains to be seen. Well, we have exploring to do. Do you need anything else from us? No. He would turn back, informing the rest of his compatriots to gather up these men and kill anyone that resists before Mm -hmm. they would grab them and begin dragging them off through the city streets. Such a grabs both of you, and we walk toward the entrance. that you were doing? They were hired by the hat lady to make a keep watch over this building while they raided it. So that means they're they're in there now? Yes. They're most likely in there. found their site and are breaking the rules. We are walking in there right now. Like, Sigura is moving toward the entrance. Okay. We need to get in there before they take everything. Does anyone else still need healing? Yes, I do. (laughs) No, I'm good. I am down nine hit points. So Onuris will channel because he's still down some too. I guess. Hey, that's a Really good roll. Okay, uh, ten. Yay, I'm gonna I'm check for traps as we go, though, because I imagine Hat Lady probably. I'm also gonna look for tracks. Up. Traps and tracks. Because if they're recently entering, they would have left tracks. Okay, so Citra is gonna check for traps once you reach the building. Very well. I'm gonna set, uh, check Sigur for traps is gonna in start. the entrance kind of area. Very well. So Onuris would, I guess, glance towards the party as his uh, holy symbol on his face places to light and pulses out healing energy, getting Sudi back up. I guess back up and running. Yeah, I'm actually full. At full. And that gets me full. Oh, as well. yeah. The back of your shirt is still sticky with blood yeah. and clinging to you red it's been against a, the yeah, usual I was say, white. Unfortunately, that's been Vittori, happening recently. Why would you lie to me? Oh. She may not have known, to be honest. They probably don't tell her anything. We'll see. Gathering yourselves together and making your way. You'd approach the structure. Navigating through these alleyways, you would approach it from the front of the building as you close on it. 
The terrain around here at one point was rocky before the city was built. And then the city's roadways are just kind of navigate around the rocky expanse. This structure itself is built onto a small rocky, rocky outcropping. So that on the eastern side of it, it's effectively level with the street. But on the western side of it, it's about 15 feet above it, with basically a rocky kind of cliff ledge leading up towards the side of the structure. It is large, although any of those of you who have knowledge engineering... Oh, I think I might. Nope. I do. May bounce me a knowledge engineer. Okay. Sudi has it. I have it, but I don't know anything with a seven. Seven? You have no idea pertaining towards this structure. The, the structure is large. It looks like most of the outer walls and such that comprise the building are probably about 20 feet overall height, which would give it more than enough room for two floors, although there are no windows at all on the entirety of this building. It's going to make it feel like a tomb. There is a large dome set into the back portion of it, effectively at the north end of the temple opposite of where the entrance is, and the exterior walls here are carved in the likeness of Nethys as well as other celestial figures. Uh, and including many depictions of pharaohs, sometimes these depictions of pharaohs standing some good 10 to 12 feet tall, uh, two to three times the height of the others. And one of them, this pharaonic figure, is facing off against what appears to be a massive scarab beetle of titanic size with three eyes. Uh, knowledge um, history, do we know what that is? The depiction of Nethys would stand behind them with or wearing the double crown, as if also a pharaonic figure laying a hand upon his back. Any of those of you wish may make me a knowledge religion. No religion, actually, not history. That's something most of this party, except for Citra, can Nine. do. Nine. Uh, Twenty-two. Nope. Religion, I get a eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, both of you would be able to recognize this as a depiction of Nethys, uh, as he is oftentimes depicted as a pharaoh in Osirian, uh, and is sometimes believed to have been a pharaoh in Osirian. Because of the religious strictures also connected to this, Sue, do you be able to recognize that as a depiction of Olnoth the Festering, mm -hmm. the spawn of Rovagog defeated by the first pharaoh with the assistance of Nethys? Which is also what Sothis is built inside of. <laughs> well, a large portion of it. Or, yes. or, yeah, I was going to say, not the entire city, but most of the city is inside of his carcass. So cool. I hope we get to go there. Two statues would flank a wide set of steps. The one on the left appears to be alabaster. The one on the right appears to be a dark granite. Both of them seem to depict Nethys, although in one case he seems to be looking down with a kindly expression. The other one, it seems to be judgmental as he stares his, down at people yeah, as they I was approach. Say, that's his, that's his uh, hand of burning. Can that's I identify burning. any of the other pharaohs in the carvings? Uh, you may make an old uh, nobility if you so wish. I get a 21. There would be cartouches, of course, acknowledging Asgrat the first, who is the pharaoh depicted with the aid of Nethys defeating the spawn of Rovagug. The only other one that you'd notice is what appears to be a depiction of a pharaoh seemingly gesturing and directing either slaves or workmen. The cartouche placed over the top of this depicts this as the pharaoh Jdardid II. Any of those of you wish may make me an old history. Nope. I have some of that. Doesn't have anything to but do I don't curses? roll very well and get <laughs> eight. I get a 25. Jdardid is the uh, founder of the city of Wati. Like or at the very least, he was the pharaoh that decided to found the city. Judging by this depiction, it seems to already depict this temple as being here. So the temple may have actually predated the founding of the city. Hmm. Interesting. Yours Meaning that this is possibly the oldest structure in the entirety of the city. Yours would take a minute to glance over this mural while Sigur and Citra are checking around. The wide steps would ascend their way up towards the front door. There is no actual door. It is a wide arch that leads inside of the structure proper. Weapons drawn immediately. Oh, I mean, like we haven't been drawing our weapons the entire time we've been in the necropolis. When I was walking with the guard. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. Ascending up the wide steps, the sand would crunch underneath your feet as the hot wind would blast past you. Ahead of you would be the darkness of the tomb here. Although in this case it's not actually a tomb, but a sanctum. But considering that there are no windows, the difference is at that point, academic. Nearest would glance over at Sagira. Would you like a light spell? I don't need one. I'll take one then. Do you have dark vision and low light vision? Sorry, or? I just have low light. Wrong character. <laughs> JK, I'm not a half one. Wait, okay. no, I do need <laughs> I do need that. Although, yeah. Yeah. Remember, human. It's true, human and you're looking for traps and such. Yeah. 
you want to bust we, out we your uh, your magical your coal and holy symbol, don't we? Give oh yeah, some well that was for gaze attacks. Well, the coal also gives you uh, low light vision if you don't normally have it. It so doubles your low rogue, light vision. Plus two perception, plus two versus gazes, visual attacks, and sight based attacks. You know, we might need that in here. He said there were no windows. Well, I mean, on yours has the sixty foot dark vision. Sue, so do you have low light vision? Uh, I have. Uh, low light vision only. So, yeah, I don't have dark vision. So, I mean, it might be best for Citra at that point. And the plus two perception would apply to you finding tra- tracks if you're looking or Let's, traps. Uh, but. Uh, give me a minute. Do we have time? They're in here actively looting It'll this It'll take me like 30 seconds. <sighs> you missed a spot. <laughs> this one's that lopsided. Seriously. You're a perfect cat eye, thank you. We, we don't have time <laughs> she has to, a stencil. Get, to worry about the details. We need to get Okay, there. I'll mark off one use. And I cast a light spell on. What do I usually cast it on? Your yes. holy symbol? Uh, holy symbol's fine. Yeah. Do I have a holy symbol? Um, I'm a... I don't remember what we were casting it on before. You can cast it on my belt. Okay. Apparently, you can apply the coal as a full round action. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's just a quick I'm going to guess that it's magical, so it's probably one of those, like, you kind of brush it across and it gives you just the natural cat eye look every time. Nice. <laughs> like Fifth Element where you just put up your eyes and hit the button. Yes, it's that. <laughs> it's that. Very high tech. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens. Built the pyramid. They made the coal. Anyway. <laughs> no. Oh, no. we didn't even tell you guys about this coal. Oh, well. We'll tell you everything later. I was, I was going to say, I just imagine Sudi's <laughs> just looking at her like, what the heck? It's magical. That's how things. women do this? No wonder it always looks so good. <laughs> Men do it too. Yeah, to so say this is like. Oh yeah, I guess there's coal that guys do too. Sudi's never had enough money to be able to afford coal, fancy coal. I think with your furry eyes, the coal wouldn't work that great anymore. Yeah. Also that. Uh-huh. Anywho. I would need like so, chalk. I suppose casting the light spell, your belt blazing to light cat's coal necklace, which I don't think you've still gotten actually made. I haven't gotten it made. Stepping forward though, you would step out of the blasting sand and out of the light and into the dim illumination of this structure. As you would step forward, you would enter into a large chamber. The ceiling in here stretches some 15 feet overhead, and every step as you would take your way past where effectively the sand is blocked from coming in would echo as you make your way into the structure. The acoustics in this building being, you'd say, exceptional. No doors would block the grand entrance to this building. Two humanoid statues would flank the stairs at the top as you would make your way in. Each one of these are wearing a black and white mask and holding quarter staves in their hands. Just inside the entry, two rows of column lead towards an archway in the wall opposite of the one that you've entered. A wide, open arch leading its way deeper, seeming into what appears to be some sort of even more spacious and grand central chapel. Two other passages exit out, a decent-sized one off towards your right-hand side, and then a smaller, you'd say maybe just more of a a servant's passage, or even just the passage for where the priests themselves would go, not some place for the parishioners to make their way in. Even as you begin to approach and make your way up the steps, you could tell that this building, it's not symmetrical. It's not laid out the way that most Osiriani buildings would be. It's strangely lopsided, although why, you can't entirely tell. There is an odd smell. A smell of blood. Almost this smell, this thick smell of... It reminds you of a butchery. Like a smell of meat. But not decay, not rot, and you you hear no flies. There's just that smell of just meat. And something else, something musky, something animal-like. If you wish, you may make me a survival check now that you've stepped inside. Yay. Well, perfect 20 for a... Um... 27, because this is urban. Sudi, what are you doing? As a Uh, side note, uh, (laughs) you can, if you wish, make me another knowledge engineering or a perception check. I'm going to go with perception, because it's higher. A 27. Very well. I'm checking for tracks. Alright, so just in the entryway, and then once you guys start moving towards another archway, are you trying to check the entirety of this room? I mean... This room is large. From where you stand to the opposite side, this room is about 35 feet across and probably about 45 feet wide. It would take you the better part of about about five minutes to search the entire room. I don't think we need to do that. Just, uh, you know, the entryway. Entryway and where we're going, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so make me a perception roll. Uh, 29. 29, nice. Is that with the I plus two for your coal? Yeah, I also nice. a perfect 20. Oh, hey! 
Perfect 20 friends. Uh, on yours, what are you wishing to do? I'm just keeping an eye out since everybody else seems to be searching. Can you, can you use your sniffer to know what that smell is? Very well. Uh, <laughs> so let's start in order what I guess people are going to see. So we'll start with Citra. Checking the archway here, there don't look to be any traps or anything along those lines that you can find inside of the archway. You're going to guess, judging by the fact that this is a sanctuary, a holy place, that they probably didn't initially trap it, and then the Church of Phrasma, when they turned this place into a tomb, or whatever they did with it, they didn't trap it further. Oh, I was thinking Hat Lady did something. You would probably just remember from your years of training and everything else, and also just kind of general experience, and what, what everyone else is saying, that Nethys is the god of magic. So I imagine you're keeping a wary eye out, because... He probably would not resort to mundane traps, mm -hmm. so much as blasting you with arcane power. As such, you're probably keeping a, a weather eye out at all the hieroglyphs in here and looking for... Make sure they're not runes. Yeah, magical runes. Sudi, glancing around with your perception roll, you would note that the ceiling in here is about 15 feet high, meaning that this is probably a one-story structure, judging by the ceiling in the room further ahead. Mm. Probably with just high-vaulted ceilings for the entire length of it. There's some ambient light which comes into this room, but it's otherwise dark. You would, however, notice you've been to a couple of structures inside the necropolis now. Mm -hmm. You've been down into the, the crypt of Akintepe. You've been to the house of Panthera. You've been to the uh, crypt of the house of Panthera. You've explored a little bit of the ruins, making your way to and fro. The hieroglyphs in here are pristine. Dust covers almost nothing. Even the paint on the hieroglyphs on the walls looks new, perfect, and well-maintained. There is no damage, no settling, no movement to the structure. It looks as new as if you just walked into the Temple of Phrasma. Hmm. Hey guys, this is weird. There's nothing wrong with any of these hieroglyphs or anything. Can I cast Detect Magic? If you wish, while you're beginning to search around. Yeah. Casting Detect Magic... No, you sense no magical presence here. It's not magic, or if it is, they went out of their way to hide it. I mean, this is a temple to a god of magic, yes? I don't know much about Nethys. Uh, what do I get on? Taking 10, I get a 15, so I think I can identify the basics of I mean, you know the very, you know a decent amount pertaining towards yeah. Nethys. He's the god of magic. It wouldn't be odd for him to maintain a place through magic, although more likely than not on yours to be able to sense that if this was somehow maintained via magic. Yeah. But there's no way that this could naturally have remained yeah. this pristine, unless someone was literally here keeping it up. Very weird. Maybe there's a mummy that comes through and cleans it. <laughs> a mummified cleaning crew? Yeah, maybe. I think we should be more concerned about finding Hat Lady. Sagira, speaking of. Yeah. You would kneel down. You do notice tracks here, and the sand and dust kick through the open doorway, despite the fact that there's very little dust elsewhere, and it's hard to track across stone, especially as well-maintained as this structure is. However, you would notice numerous tracks. At first, you see the ones that you're anticipating, the footprints of what appear to be two women and two men. You're going to guess the scorched hand. Mm -hmm. They seem to have paused here, before making their way left into that smaller side passage. Okay. Earlier than that, though, you see that there are other footprints, not human prints, paw prints. Hmm. The prints of a number of five, maybe six canines, possibly. Decent size, not large like a death dog, but a decent sized canid of some form. They seem to have come and gone from this place, you'd say, maybe somewhat regularly, like they possibly inhabit it. Huh. Although, again, you're not entirely positive when. Hmm. Then you would notice that there are tracks that are covered by both of these. These tracks appear to be from a man, a human, barefoot, and alone. He came here after the Canids. He seemed to have walked through here, but you see no sign that the Canids even reacted to him as you kind of trace your fingers along through the sand. Mm. You then see his tracks leaving. Those, however, cross over on top of the tracks of the Scorch Hand. 
they came here. You see no signs that they've left, but he came here before they did and then left already. Hmm. Judging by how windy it is and how little time would you could allow for passage, he couldn't have left here more than maybe a half hour ago. He was barefoot? He seemed to have been barefoot. Someone's taking care of the place. As you would glance up, though, and as Onurus would make his way in, sweeping with detect magic and looking, you would see splatters of blood here and there across the lower portions. And rounding in the back corner of this room, you can see where a fight took place. And the scorched remains of what appear to have been a pack of jackals now splattered across the ground. You would probably eye these with some interest. They, in fact, are scorched in places, as if by some sort of extreme heat or fire. Well, we know two of those people are wizards, so Mm -hmm. it's not... You may make a hill check if you wish. Uh, 16. Stepping your way forward, glancing this over, kneeling down next to this jackal carcass, this jackal seems to have been probably killed by a stab. A a vicious cutting hit from probably some sort of small curved blade, something along the lines of a kukri. Well, that's what what's her name had, wasn't Mm -hmm. it? More disturbing. Far more disturbing than that. As you would look at this jackal, the remains of the one next to it, they are split open and deflated. As you would just kind of reach down and lift up one of its legs, it would hang sickeningly limp as there are no bones left inside of this skinned carcass. As you would eye the other one next to it, there are no bones there as well. As you would turn, you would hear a click, click, click on the stone, and the light would play out and your dark vision would reveal as a bloody skeletal jackal would stand in the doorway. And then a second, and a third, then five, then a half dozen. As the skeletal guardians would begin to close on you. Sigura says, I hate wizards. And Rick says, we'll pick it up here next time. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Thank you for listening, everyone. Tune in next time for Skeletal Dog Battle? Yeah, that's... Question mark? Why do that? That's just... Ugh, I don't <laughs> like these are. Uh, if the Scorch Hand did that, they're going to have some... I'm they have definitely some did that. Yeah. So that they have someone to guard their cool. flank. I mean, it makes sense. But they knew someone was going to get this site. Poor jackals. Yeah, they... Okay, oh, not only oh. did you do that in a city that's big on Phrasma, you did it to jackals, which are servants of Anubis, I know, the like, ancient yeah. god of death. This yeah. is yeah. wrong on so many levels. What's exactly. that? Sagira was like, ah, oh, jackals, I can be friends with them. And then, nope, no. nope. Nope. Oh, they're undead. I guess Boneless I killed them. Boneless skin kid. sacks. Nope. <laughs> undead? I guess I killed them. Thanks for listening to this episode. If you want to talk to us, there's a lot of ways to do that. You can hit us up on Twitter at FindThePathChan. Or you can use our hashtag, FindThePathPod, to talk about the show. You can also visit our subreddit, which is r slash FindThePathPodcast. You can go to our website, find-path.com. Or, you know, you could even email us at FindThePathChannel at gmail.com. If you really want to help us out, and let's face it, we know you do. You need to go to iTunes and definitely review us. Good luck.